feel bittersweet. Uh, I'm very proud to have the most medals ever in the Commonwealth Games history. So I can't uh, exactly complain. You know, I would have taken for sure a medal or two a couple months ago, but uh, I'm pretty sad not to have got the gold. I felt like I felt like I was destined to win tonight. Uh, I felt real good. I was quite nervous throughout the day, but before the race, I was very confident. I thought it was in the bag after 100. I felt really good, and then I guess the piano just dropped on my back at 25 to go. There's nothing I could have done physically, mentally. I just shut down. I guess the last 25, but uh, there's no excuses. You know, I, I gave it my all, and unfortunately, I came up a little bit short. We we'll go again tomorrow in the 100, and uh, fair play. Congratulations to Lewis on a very well timed race. I'm very proud. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's tough. It's tough for me to say that right now because. You know, I really thought I was going to win tonight, um, but I am extremely proud. You know, if you had asked me 12 years ago, would I be standing here? I'd have a huge smile on my face right now. But unfortunately, the competitor in me can't shake off the fact that I didn't win tonight. So, as much as I am extremely proud to be representing my country, uh, getting a silver for my country, it just crushes me a little bit just to know that I missed that by that much. You know, and I really thought I had him, even with the 25 to go up, my head down. I fought right till the end and unfortunately, like I said, I came up short but I did promise myself by the end of 2022 I will be on top of the podium. So whether that's this week on the 100 fly or in the World Championships in 2022 in December in Melbourne, I promise you I will be back on top of the podium. That's a guarantee. You know what, I try to take the emotion out of today because obviously it was my 10 year anniversary of being involved and I wanted to be as calculated and as cool as possible. Um, it was very hard because I was quite emotional today because it brought back a lot of memories and. I felt real good out there, I felt really excited out there, I actually felt as good as I've ever felt. Just maybe the last 15 seconds was the hardest part and uh, I knew my family in the stands, my, my friends, and it just, uh, yeah, like I said, it is what it is. But uh, for me, I don't want to look back, like I said to my coach before, you know, we, 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 we did everything we could for these Commonwealth Games with what we had. Yeah, there were some difficult uh, periods this year and the last two years, but I'm making no excuses about that and uh, like I say, we'll be back in the 100 tomorrow. Um, be a little harder to win the 100, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't shy away from a challenge. So I look forward to it, I welcome the challenge, and I'm very, very excited to again represent my country at the highest level. Let's go! Let's go! Thank you.